Epiphone was was always the the kind of guitar that we could afford, but would also you know stand up on the road. And um, so uh, years after you know playing and stuff like that, we were approached by a wonderful woman, Cara, from uh, from Epiphone, and she was like, you know, I'd like to help you guys out. I know you guys need some guitars and stuff. And uh, I was playing uh, their Les Paul Elitist series, and uh, they're great guitars, but they were super heavy, you know. So like. Uh, uh, she, she came to me and was like, you know, would you ever want to consider maybe making your own guitar? And uh, I thought about it and I was like, yeah, why not? You know, that'd be, that'd be a really great uh, challenge. So um, I tried out the, the old Wilshire and uh, I stole the body from that, but then I replaced the, uh, the neck and headstock and the pickups from their, uh, their Les Paul Elitist. And uh, I made a couple other little tweaks. Uh, they has a tonomatic switch and uh, a kill switch here. It's really super light and it's, it's got a hell of a tone. Basically, it's, it's my own little hybrid and we call it the Phantomatic. I played guitar before I played the, the bass guitar, but uh, I think I excelled at the bass over the guitar. This is a custom bass. Um, Fender made it for me. Uh, it's basically, it's a Mustang um, and it has EMG pickups to kind of simulate a, a P bass sound. But I kind of, I really like the short scale neck. Um, so I wanted, I wanted something with, with like the power of a P bass. It's just fun to play, really, as as as, uh, as juvenile as that sounds. I I just love playing Mustangs because they're they're just that much more fun. I think. Well, this is actually a, kind of a cool story. This is um, a session guitar. It's actually a, a Gibson Les Paul copy, and um, I got it for Christmas about. I think about must have been like 16, 17 years ago. My older brother got it for me for Christmas. Um, you know, I kind of. He was kind of like my idol growing up, and he was always up late playing, like you know, to one or two in the morning. And so I would always hear him play guitar, and I always was something I always wanted to do. Um, so I think when when I was probably about 15, 16, he uh, he got this guitar for me for Christmas, and I've been playing it ever since. Um, for a while, I actually stopped using it, but then I just recently got it fixed up, and it's been on every record. And the thing probably costs like 300 bucks, but it's one of my favorite guitars. Currently. For, uh, for my main tone, it is uh, an orange Thunderbird 200 watt, uh, which I overdrive with uh, a blues driver, just a boss blues driver. That's like the main distorted tone. And, uh, and for, my, for my clean tones, I use a Vox AC30, which I don't know if you can really beat that. You know. What kind of amps I use? Um, I use the Ampeg SVD Classic and the A10 cabinet. Um, right now I'm playing um, stuff made by Dave Friedman. Um, I have two, two of his amps. Um, they're kind of like JCM um, 800s, kind of, you know, kind of similar to that. Um, and the other head I have is a Metropolis. So total I have three heads running. Um, two of them I have running all um, at the same time. They're kind of EQ'd wise, they're a little bit different. One's a little bit kind of, kind of more top end, the other one's a little more bottom. And then I have a third amp to kick in for when I do leads and solos and things like that. As far as like specialty tones here and there, uh, I, I guess my secret weapon is the Swollen Pickle. That pedal just slays. It's, it's crazy what that pedal can do. And I stay true to the old uh, Boss TU2 tuners. I don't like anything else. I have a POG for, for certain songs. I have an Aguilar Agro for distortion. I use the Boss tuning pedal. Can't go wrong with that. I sometimes delve into uh, using a Sansam. Sometimes I want a uh, an A tone and B tone, and sometimes I'll uh, explore that with a Sansam. Effects. I have a bunch of stuff. Um, one of my favorite pedals is uh, Electro Harmonics Pog pedal, which I use a lot for um, you know just kind of like it's an amazing pedal. Like like it adds like. Um, Really nice growl, really nice sub octave to, to riffs. Like if you're doing single note stuff, it just kind of beefs up the tone. Um, I also on records I do a lot of um, you know doubling and kind of kind of stacking of guitar parts. So the Pog actually comes in really handy um, to add like a, a higher octave or like two octaves up, and it's kind of it's kind of like a cool subtle thing that you can do even on leads where um, you know you just have a little bit of the higher octave and it kind of adds like more harmonic dynamic to it. Um, a couple other things I use is the, uh, the MXR car Carbon Copy, which is incredible, incredible delay pedal. Um, TS9, uh, you know, Tube Screamer, you know, just like basic stuff here and there.